Hey guys, it's Trent, or here, I'm the, blah, 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 blah. it's Nano, it's one take man, it's Beardly Honest, and it's Try It Tuesday, and today is actually a fan suggestion, or subscriber suggestion video for Try It Tuesday, I've been asking for y'all's, uh, you know, comments and suggestions on Try It Tuesdays, I know I've done a lot of food, and so this is actually the, the first non-food thing, which is... It's called a coal mask, like C O A L. -E, uh, there's well, C O A L. There's no E then. It's uh, it's like something you put on your face, kind of like a exfoliating mask or something to get all the junk out of your pores. And so the wife went on the on the interwebs, and she found this one called Eliza Vecca Milky Piggy, which that's the top of it right there. It looks like a little pig with a with a coal mask on, but it, I mean it's made from coal cl or coal dust, and so it's going to be black. And so I know most of my uh, videos are one take, and so we kind of start from or go from start to finish. But this one we're gonna have to break up because uh, I need to actually step in the in the restroom first to make sure that I can actually apply it on my face. And so we'll take a break real quick. And um, but before I want to do that, I want to make sure. I say thank you guys for liking my videos and all for if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe guys but for everybody that has subscribed thank you very much and uh, you know if you have any ideas for future try it Tuesdays make sure you you either send me an email or you, you do make a comment down below on something that I can try in the future but um, you never know I may try something out just like this time I'm gonna try out a coal mask so we're gonna take a quick break I'll show you with the the mask on and give you my thoughts and then eventually we'll take another break and I'll, show, I'll give you my thoughts of when I take it off. So um, I'll see you here in just a second. Go ahead. Freedom! Yeah, I look like Braveheart here. Um, so I took my hat off, obviously, and it's got like a weird little applicator thing. And so it's like a pudding consistency. And as soon as you put it on your face, I mean, it's it like hardens a little bit. And so... Um, it's called a carbonated bubble clay mask. That's what it looks like right there. You see the little piggy with the, with the coal, coal mask on. And so I know it's supposed to be like black, but it looks gray. And it's supposed to clean out all the pores and stuff. So I look like Phantom of the Opera here. Um, I'm supposed to let it sit on for a few minutes and then I guess just wash it off. Is that what you said? I don't know. I don't, I don't do this stuff. It's I'm trying it for you guys. It's, 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 it's yeah, funny. it's all kind of tingling too. It feels weird on my face. Um, and it, it, it sounds like Pop Rocks. It's actually popping on my face. So um, we'll take another break real quick. I'll wait a couple minutes because I don't want to wait on camera with you guys if I don't have to. But Because um, I don't want to waste your time. and just sit here and talk with you. Uh, but I'll go ahead and wash it off my face or do whatever the, the thing says. It's in Japanese, so I had we kind of had to look up the directions online in the process. But um, it comes with a little cool little applicator, and you can just poke it back in there once you wash it off. But that's that's kind of the consistency of what it looks like, which is it looks like bubble bath almost. And so we'll see if it uh, cleaned my face at all. I haven't had any issues since it, uh, with with like. Um, what do you call it? Skin issues, blackheads. blackheads and zits and stuff like that. In uh, since like high school, which has been a long time for me. Uh, we'll see if this cleans it out anymore. Maybe I've just got a protective layer since I haven't washed my face and with uh, you know the uh, what did I use? Clearasil way back then. And so we'll see. We'll see the 21st century approach to uh, cleaning my face. So take a break. See you guys in a second. What do you guys think? I don't know if it did anything or not. Uh, it was a pain in the butt to get off. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. I may have put too much on because the outer layer like foamed up like no tomorrow. And so that layer was okay to get off by hand, but the stuff that was still on my face was still like a mud or uh, putty 
slash pudding consistency. And I actually had to, that's why my eyes are kind of pink, is because I had to get a washcloth and like dig it out of, or like scrape it off my face. And so I was making the comment to the wife that, you know, that's why it's an exfoliant is because you have to scrub the crap out of your face to get it off. Um, I, I can't tell the difference, but I don't really pay attention to this kind of stuff. I mean, you guys can kind of see... You guys can be the judges on whether or not it did anything. If you think it did, just leave a comment down below. If you have any other questions about the whole process. Okay, I don't know really what to tell the person that asked me to, uh, to try it out. But if you have any other future uh, comments or suggestions about uh, future Try It Tuesdays, make sure you do so down below in the, in the comment section. Feel free to share this video as you see fit, guys. Make sure you hit that like button if you like this video. And as always, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Until then, have a nice day.